We're now going to review the inventory tools, which is part of the professional services tool suite. In the inventory tools, we have the ability to do what we call an inventory site combiner. Now, where this comes into play is if you are uh, changing sites in Site Dynamics and you no longer have a bin A and you want to move everything that was assigned to bin A into bin B. That's how we would uh, do it. We would use the inventory site combiner. So you will pull up your site and uh, starting with site, say, Northwest Region here in this case, and we will combine everything into the Southwest Region and hit Convert. So what this is doing is it's going to the database and um, moving everything that's in that one bin uh, location site ID to this new combined site ID. So it's actually combining all of the inventory into those two sites together. <clears throat> there will be a list that comes out when you're through and it shows here that you've combined site ID location 01 Northwest into 01 Southeast in this case. The next tool in inventory is called the inventory site modifier. So uh, what we'll do is uh, launch that. So you're saying I want to modify the one that says southeast region and I'm going to call this 02 northwest. And so all we're doing at this particular time is very quickly going back and changing the site name and it shouldn't, again, it's typically that quick to do so. And you'll get another report that shows up and shows the starting site and ending site ID here. Uh, for audit trail purposes, it might be good to keep these reports. Uh, it has the name of the user at the upper left corner, the date and the timestamp, so you can uh, track what's happened there. The next in the inventory is the item description modifier. If you go into Dynamics GP and you pull up a inventory item, you can change the item description here. So right now I could change this from a multi-core processor to a quad core processor. Um, new date, you know, 5 15 2012. So basically, uh, that just saves that in the, in the database from this point forward, that's what it's going to be. But it does not go back and change any history associated with this. So from this point forward, all transactions will have this new description on it. But you want to go back and from a historical standpoint, you want to change all the records. So under the inventory description modifier, it lets you do that. So I'll, I'll pull up this item. I've got the processors here that I just changed quad core processor. And I'm going to give it a QUAD core processor. And I'm not going to put the date on it. But anyway, I'll just hit convert. So um, again, you get the warning to uh, you know, do a backup, but now the item description modifier is finished. So uh, from this point forward, of course, every item will have that new name, but all the history has been changed as well. So that's that tool. The item number combiner. Um, this again is in yellow text, so every time you see a yellow text field, that means it has to be run as a supervisor and every user has to be out of the system. So as we do an item combiner, what this is going to do is going to take all the sales transaction history for the item that you pick for the processor and I want to combine all that sales history into another item and I hit the convert and um, it's not going to let me do that one. There was a message came up here and it says there's somebody changing the transaction and frankly I believe I'm the one doing that. Um, let's sh check this out for sure. I think I remember staying in the screen. Uh, 
actually I'm out of the screen, so get out of there. I should be able to do that one. Don't know why that. It says here I'm uh, in the process of doing a transaction or somebody else is doing a transaction against this one. And of course I can't do it when somebody's doing it. I mentioned you have to be logged out and the only user. But anyway, it does, it does go ahead and change that. The next tool in the item inventory item series is the item number modifier. So if we go to item number modifier and hit next, here's the starting item. And I've got an item here that's called processor. And I could create a new one here and I could put 199999 and hit convert. So I've converted item A, 32, 4A, into 19999. There's a report. Again, keep that for uh, audit trail purposes. The last one is using the item reconciler. In the item reconciler, what this does, it runs a reconcile for the system and uh, reconciles all inventory so that if there's any holes in the inventory system it will come up with a report. Now typically with a reconcile I don't do that during a demo because it could take five minutes, it could take ten minutes, again it depends on the size of the data so you would at this particular time just hit the reconcile and go forward. Let the process complete. So this ends the section on the inventory tools of the professional services tool Sweet.